Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to craft NLP optimized content that actually ranks on Google. Um, this is going to be completely free. You're going to need free tools for this. Uh, tool number one is the actual Google Natural Language Cloud. Um, you can literally just search Google NL NLP library and it's the second result down here, nat Natural Language AI. You can use it for like the for like a paragraph, which is exactly what we need it for. We then need a Google Sheet, and what I'll do is I'll link this Google Sheet down below. If you are going to use this Google Sheet, make certain to click on File and then make a copy here. Otherwise, you won't be able to use it. You'll just be able to see it. Just click Make a Copy. Um, so many people don't do that. And the last thing you're going to need is ChatGPT. You can use 3.5, 4, 4.0 mini, whichever one that you really want. We're going to feed a lot of data into this so it does actually end up ranking the content very well, right? So then what we're going to do is we actually need some uh, competitors. Now, what I recommend for this is actually finding a inner page. And what I mean by an inner page is I've searched Divorce Lawyers Miami and <clears throat> obviously there's a lot of... Um, directory sites we want to avoid all of these directory sites we also want to avoid um home pages as well and the reason why i say that is home page home pages that are ranking like for example family law miami the reason why this is ranking so well is because naturally any single website or at most websites on on the internet the most powerful page from a link building point of view is their home page so avoid um, doing compar comparisons on home pages. Uh, what we want is like an inner page. So like the the best inner page on this um, on this SERP is um, fostermorales.com. And as you can see, it's a inner page here. It's forward slash Miami um, divorce attorney, right? And then what we want to do is head over to our Google sheet and paste that URL into column A2. Um, Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to, first of all, get us some subheadings, right? What we then want to do is head over to ChatGBT, or actually, prior to actually doing this, you may want to do this for like two or three different competitors. I'm just going to use one competitor for the time being. Um, but then what we also want to do is head over to this page, and what we want to do is copy like the first paragraph, Um and what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Google Cloud, um, the tool that I showed you right at the beginning, and we're going to paste the content into here and click Analyze. Basically, what this does um, is it highlights any entities within the actual content. So if I just make my face a little bit smaller here, you can still see my face, don't worry. Um, but you can obviously see all of the entities. Now, what I mean by entities is a lot of people think that Google reads the content, like it just reads everything, and it's not actually the case. What it actually does is it takes a look at the actual entities on the page, right? So for, for example, Foster Morales PLLC, as you can see, it is a, do, 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 where is it analyzed, Foster, Morales, L, L, ah, there it is there, sorry, I didn't even see that. It's classed it, or it understands that it's an organization. Um, it also understands that, Amer uh, that American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers, I, I might have butchered that. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I butcher a lot of words, but it also understands that that, that is also an organization. Um, so anything that's got a color next to it understands that it's either a location, a person, it understands if it's a number, etc. So all of these things are entities, but a lot of the gray text, um, just so you know, if we actually zoom in a little bit more, um, there is also gray entities as well. But if we just take a look at like what I like to call hops, so for example, is a, uh, with the and um, to handle any uh, any words like that, it's 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 not even like reading, right? So what we want to do is make certain that the intro for our um, article is super on point, right? Now what we want to do is first of all, um, let's actually make a content brief, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to ChatGPT and say, I want to write a SEO 
optimized article for keyword right so the keyword here would be um if i do this um and it could be do, 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 miami divorce attorney right so if we head over back over to ChatGPT, and so that's line number one i want to write an seo optimized article for miami divorce attorney first um i want you to expand on these subheadings from my competitor i also want you to you to make them unique right so that's that's step number one we do we never want to just copy somebody else's content because we can always improve on it right so these are the actual um subheadings what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter so first of all, it should give us a load of subheadings. It's actually started to do the content, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to give it a couple more prompts, right? Um, because first of all, this is just kind of, a lot of people when they say AI content sucks, this is what they do, right? They'll, they'll literally just go in and they will just say, I want an, a, a, an article to do with X, Y, Z, and they'll hit enter and it's just not great, right? So what we're going to do is actually give it a little bit more of um, a better prompt and we're going to say remove the content and keep the subheadings for now so now it should just give us a content brief and this is this is what we want so far right and then what we're also going to do is say add in some faqs as subheadings to the content so as you can see we're starting to build out the content brief a little bit more um and it's doing a lot more things for us right so already this looks a lot better than even the the competitor that's ranking number one or the 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 competitor that we're analyzing the next thing what we want to do is this um content right what we want to do is actually um extract all of the actual entities right so for example what we're going to say now is we're going to copy this and say this is a um this is a what 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 would we call this this is a natural language api or actually this is a intro from the natural language api um and it is highlighting um entities um can you first of all extract these entities right so then we're going to just paste in um our actual content it can look a little bit weird but um we're just going to go ahead with it and then it should start to extract all of the entities like what I mentioned before. Um, this should also match everything that is in this list here. So for example, um, Foster Morales, PLLC, Miami, Family Law, etc., etc. right? So then what we wanna do is say, I want you to use these entities in the intro and throughout the content um, that you done earlier can you start writing the content now with the given entities and nlp so now what it's going to do right it's actually given us two variations which is even better right um is it's starting to now use these Google NLP um, like entities from our competitor's website on our actual article. Now, one thing that I didn't do, um, which you probably would do, right, is I've just used Foster Morales PLLC, right? What we would probably want to do is say um, something along the lines of my law firm is isn't actually called foster morales plc start to mention kajra dash um law firm right so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to select um to be honest both these um look fairly decent 
Um, but I'm just going to select this one. And then I'm going to say, um, my law firm is actually called Kajra Law um, Unlimited, right? <laughs> just made up, a, made up a name. Can you replace any mentions of Foster, Foster Morales? Am I writing that correctly? I'm just going to copy this. Um, any mentions of Foster Morales? Um, so my law firm is actually called Casual Law Unlimited. Can you replace any mentions of Foster Morales uh, PLLC in the content? Right. So now, once we have went back and forth, that probably took about, let's say, it, well, as I'm recording this and I'm explaining this, it's took me about 11 minutes um, on this video. But once you start to get the hang of it, it's actually going to be a lot quicker. Um, and obviously, you then have the, the prompts, you've got everything. Um, but as you can see here, this content is way better um, than the actual given content here. One thing you could also do, and I'm just being very picky here, is can you structure, um, can you add spaces to the content so it's easier to read, right? That That's just my personal um, preference, right? So it's just going to start spacing everything out a little bit more. Actually, it's not. It's going to actually ignore everything that I've said to it. But what, when you are actually uploading this, this is what I meant when I said it's going to be like 90% of the way. When your editors are actually uploading it, what you probably want to do is copy this and then just um, whenever there's like a break in the actual content or whenever there's like a full stop, try to actually start using um, a new line because, again, nobody likes seeing just a wall of content. And if I'm being honest, that's the one thing that ChatGPT just gets wrong all the time it just starts spitting out a wall of content so just for more of a, a cro and user experience point of view i when i'm uploading this content what i would be doing is actually um making certain that things are on new lines and it's just a little bit more appealing to the eye when somebody actually lands on the page but this it was how to write nlp optimized content if you guys did enjoy this video please remember to leave a like and as always if you do want a free 50 minute growth strategy call for your website make sure to check the link down below or head over to casual thanks